Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. I'd like to show you how to put a Facebook web plugin on your website. Well, what's that? Well, that's like a like button or a comment box that you like to put on your website, something that feeds through Facebook. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Now, I made a video a couple of years ago, actually October of 2012, and a lot of people watched that video. But since then, Facebook has sort of changed the way it looks when you go to do that. So this is an updated version of that video. This is April of 2014. So when you are watching this video and then you go to the place I'm going to show you at Facebook, the website may look a little bit different than it does now. And don't let that throw you off because although Facebook changes the look of this website, it all works basically the same way. We're going to do three different things or we're going to do this in three steps. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to go to this area called developers.facebook.com. That's where we start. And again, this website may look different by the time you go here, but it's always going to be at developers.facebook.com. And we're going to look for a place that allows us to look at the web plugins. Now, currently, it's at the bottom of the page here where it says the like button because that's one of the web plugins, and that's probably the most popular one. So if I were to click this button, it would take me to this page here called developers.facebook.com forward slash docs forward slash plugins. So if you're having a hard time finding where the social plugins are, you could just go directly to that page and you'll find what probably looks very similar to this. It's actually laid out a little nicer than it was a couple years ago, so it'll be a little easier to get around. But this page basically shows you the kind of social plugins from Facebook that you can add to your website. Again, there's the like button, share button, send button, all of these things that you are probably familiar with, the comments box, those are great. They're also listed over here, and when we click on these, it's going to show us how to get the code for these and place them on our website. But we can't do it yet because there's a couple of preliminary things I have to tell you before we go and get this code. One is you need to be logged into your Facebook account before doing this. So log into Facebook if you're not already, then come to developers.facebook.com and find your way to this page. You can see I'm logged into Facebook. It's got my handsome little picture there in the corner that tells me I'm in my Facebook account. That's step one. We need to do that. The other preliminary thing we need to do is we have to do what's called creating an app. Now, if that didn't scare you away, I don't know what will, but don't be afraid because creating an app at Facebook is nothing like what you think creating an app is. We're not building a mobile app. We're not doing any coding or writing a program. We're just basically filling out a form. We need to create an app so that Facebook will allow us to use this code that we're going to generate and put it on our website. Here's how you create an app. At the top of this page, there should be a menu that says apps. And in my case, it shows me the link to create a new app as well as list some of the apps I've been working with. So I've already made three, so they're listed here. But if you haven't made one, you would simply click this button that says create a new app. And then you'll fill out the form. Now don't be intimidated by this. It's all very basic stuff. And really all you need to tell Facebook is what you want to call this app and the name of the website you want to put it on. And I think they'll even ask you for an email address. And that's about it. So you'll fill out the display name. I'm, I'm going to call mine 90 Second Website Builder because that's what I'm going to be using it on, my website at 90secondwebsitebuilder.com. So that's what I would put here. The namespace is optional, so I'm just going to leave it blank. And if you want to, choose a category that is sensible for what you're doing, and that's fine. Then you click the button. Now, I'm not going to do this right now because I've already done it. So I'm going to cancel out of here. I've already filled out that form, and what happened was Facebook created an app for me. Let's go look at it. I'm going to click right here. And I called it 90 Second Website Builder. And then Facebook assigned me what's called an app ID. That's this number right here. And that's really the important part of this app. It's that number that allows us to use the code for like buttons and comment boxes and all the things we want to put on our website. It's really what we're looking for is this code. And it's easy to get. All I did was I filled out the form and created an app. Sounds pretty uh, technical and it's really not. So in fact, if you look at the settings, you can see what I did. I called it 90 Second Website Builder. I told it the domain. I gave it an email address, which I don't even think they ever use. And then it fills in the rest of the stuff for me. If there's something that you're not sure, just leave the default setting or leave it blank and it should be fine. There I put my URL and all that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. One last step in creating the app. And you see that was very simple to do. You wanna make sure that your app is turned on publicly. 
And that's not so obvious. So you're going to look for an area called Status and Review. And right here, if I click on Status and Review, I can see that my app is public. And the reason I know that is because this toggle switch is on Yes. If yours is on No, you won't be able to use this until you switch it to Yes. But again, very simple. That's all you have to do. Don't worry about submitting this for approval. You're making something very simple here, just an app to use code with. So again, all we've done is we've named our app. We've given it the URL, the address to the site we're using it on, contact email, and we've made sure that it's turned on publicly. And the app is done. That's all we have to do. We won't ever have to do that again. All right, so let's go back to the developers page where we started. So assuming you're logged into Facebook and assuming you've made that simple little app, you're now ready to start getting the code from Facebook that you can put on your website. I'm going to go here to the social plugins page. And again, we can use any one of these social plugins. I'm going to do the simple one. And honestly, they're all equally simple. It doesn't matter which one because you're just going to be copying and pasting code anyway. So we'll use the like button. So I'm going to click right here. And you can see that it just brings up a simple little form for me to fill out. I'm going to tell Facebook what website I'm going to put my like button on. So I filled in 90 second website builder. Remember now I'm logged into Facebook right now. And so when I tab through this, you're going to see the preview of this right here has updated based on what my Facebook account reflects. So there are some pictures of me and my friends who already like this page and it shows what my like button is going to look like. You can see there's even a share button. And the reason why that shows is because I've got this checked here. If I don't want the share button, I can uncheck it but I like that. Or if I don't want the faces to show, I can uncheck that, but we'll leave that on. Looks nice. So yours will look a little different because you'll be logged into your Facebook account. So this is pretty custom. Now, all I've done is given it a URL. I'm going to go ahead with the standard layout. You can see there are other options. I don't have to call it a like button. I can call it a recommend, but I like like. So we're going to leave it like that. Very simple. As you can see, I did almost nothing except give it an address look at the preview. Now I'm going to get the code. When you get the code, a couple of things uh, are worth noting here. Let me move the camera down a little bit so you can see. First of all, we're going to use the HTML5 version of this code. I won't go into why, but there are several other options for code. You could use the iframe if you really wanted to. That's also simple. I prefer not to use iframes on my website, but um, you can but I would recommend using the HTML5 code. It's going to be two different snippets of code. This stuff up here and this stuff down here we're going to put on our website. You'll see that Facebook has already said that I can use this because we're going to use the app ID of the app I just made called 90 Second Website Builder. Remember, I had some other apps and they're listed here, but we're using this one. And you remember that app ID code that was generated, I said, was such an important number? Well, you may recognize it down here in the code. This is what is making this work this number corresponds with this app. Now we don't really need to know why it does all that. We just need to know that it does that. So as long as you've made that app and you've got this far, it's very simple to just copy and paste this code and you'll be pretty much done with it. Here's some things to note. We've got two snippets of code. This part here in the top, I'm going to select it just to make it stand out. This is going to go in my website in a very special place. It needs to go right after the opening body tag. Now, without getting technical, that's basically some HTML terminology you should be familiar with no matter what web editor you're working with. I'm going to be doing this with 90 Second Website Builder, obviously my favorite web design program. And so with 90 Second, it's very simple to do. But if you're working with Dreamweaver or something more complicated, again, you're just going to make sure that you paste this code in the right spot. I've selected it, now I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to take this code, I'm going to go over to 90 Second Website Builder right here. I'm going to need to move the camera over a little bit. And I'm going to, this is just a blank page. I haven't put anything on this web page yet. So just for demonstration purposes, we're only going to put the Facebook code on here. But if you can imagine this was a developed page, there might be some pictures and text. But for now, I'm going to show you where to put the code. So in 90 second, I'm going to go to the page HTML. And it gives me several options of where I can paste this code. I don't want to put it at the start of the page. Remember it said right after the body tag. That's what it said at Facebook. Make sure you put this right after the body tag. Well, in 90 Second Website Builder, we literally have a spot called after body tag. So I'm clicking on this tab. I'm going to now paste the code right there. 
So I've just put the code in the right spot for my website. I'm going to click OK. And so I've just put the code on the page. Pretty simple. Let's go back to Facebook though because there's some more code we need to get. And again, I'll move the camera down here. Now this is the other part of the code. It does matter where I put this too, but I get to put this wherever I want. This is where I want my like box to show on my page. So I might want to put it at the bottom or the top or in a column somewhere or underneath an image or whatever. So this one will matter because this is what we would call positional. This is going to go in a particular position. So I'm going to select this code, copy it, go back to 90 Second Website Builder. And in our software, the way you put positional code in is you take a tool here called the HTML tool. You just draw a box, double click on it. And here I'm going to paste my code in from Facebook. Paste. There it is. A real simple little snippet of code. Click OK. And so here's my Facebook code. Now I can't preview it right now because it has to be online for us to see it. So whatever web design software you're using, you'll need to do the equivalent of that. Make sure you put the first snippet in the right spot right after the body tag. And then make sure you put your positional code wherever you want to put it on your website. I'm just going to put mine right here for now and save it. Okay, we're pretty much done. Actually, all I have to do at this point is now publish this page to a server, which I'm going to go do. So I'm going to pause the video and come back to this. Okay, so I published this page to a spot on my web server at 90secondwebsitebuilder.com. I put it in a folder here called 3 so we can just look at it. Basically, that's all you do. This is how it shows up. Of course, I'm using a blank page just for this demonstration, but you would want to put this on your website where you actually have some content. But anyway, that's how easy it was to do. So if you remember, all I did was I put two snippets of code on this page and it works. You'll be good to go. If you want to do it the easy way, you want to go over to 90secondwebsitebuilder.com and check out our software and see how great that is to work with. But no matter what website editor you're using, you should be able to put just about any kind of Facebook object on your website. So I hope that helps you. Thanks for watching another video from 90 Second Website Builder.